And now, travels with Tim. Tim is a time machine the size of a modest two-story house who was more than 40,000 years old. My name stands for Technology for Innovative Movement. Ooh! Traveling inside of Tim, Ezra Ford is a librarian from Earth who has had very little adventure in his life. Uh, shouldn't you come with seatbelts, Tim? Also aboard is Liddy Firest, an alien thief who takes what she wants and does what she likes. That's what you can do, Tim. And together, Ezra and Liddy embark on Travels with Tim! This month's episode, Awake. We begin in Tim's basement. Wow, Tim, there's so much junk in your trunk. <laughs> What's so funny? Junk in the trunk? Yeah, I don't get it. It's an old Earth expression. Whale says, you may root around in my trunk as much as you like. <laughs> uh, no, suddenly I've lost interest. Not me. There are treasures galore in here. Yes, Feel free to dig in my treasure hole, sir. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Hey, Tim, what's this? Oh, that, sir, is my original frame. Your original frame? Oh, yes, sir. When I was young, there wasn't much of me. I was later expanded, and my previous masters kept the original in my main cabin for a long time. But then Master Ratcliffe said I was getting too full of myself and moved it to the basement. Hmm, it's puny. Well, it could sit four semi-comfortably. Well, I'm glad that you're much bigger now, Tim. So the hands of H.G. Wells built him, himself built this? Oh, yes, sir. With some help, but Mr. Wells' hands were all over me. I, I, oh. I need to be elsewhere. <laughs> Don't you mean Ezware? <laughs> Ezzy! <laughs> Ezzy, I made a pun! You missed my pun! No. I thought it was really good. Thank you, Tim. Oh, you're welcome. Shoot yourself, Ezzy. Oh, hey, what does this do? Oh, please don't push the buttons on my old frame. Most of them aren't, they don't connect to anything anymore, but, um... Uh-oh, Tim, what did you do? Well, you pressed the button. Oh, pardon me, sir. <laughs> Master Ezra has hit the randomizer button upstairs, and I must move. Come on, Tim. You've got to tell Ezzy that the randomizer isn't even real. But I have no idea, Bobbity Boop, what you're talking about. We have arrived, sirs, by the way. Where are we, Tim? Hmm. Better go upstairs and find out. Liddy runs after Ezra, leaving the old frame alone in the basement. Everything is still until a figure climbs out of its undercarriage. Oh, God, that was awful. Upstairs. Where did we end up? Looks like another space station. Oh, yes, sir, it is indeed. Well, I'll open up, Tim. We can always find something valuable on a space station. Moments ago. Oh, Jesus! Come down! Oh, I can't help it, Troy. Oh, God, there was almost nothing left. I know, but if you can't get it together, we're gonna be next. God, I can't handle this, Katie. You don't have a choice, Bart. This was supposed to be a nice, calm posting. Nothing dangerous. Space is always dangerous. Only a fool would think otherwise. God, I just want to make it back home alive. <laughs> me too. Now help me jam this door closed. It's gonna tear right through it anyway. Do you have a better idea? No, but... What was that? The monster. Just help me with the door. No, I, I heard... What in the world? Now, first of all, Tim. Oh, people. Yes, people. Help us. Hi, I'm Ezra Ford, and this is Liddy and our time machine, Tim. Shh. Hello. You're going to attract its attention. A monster. Again. Yes, sirs. I detect a large life form two floors down, moving this way fast. How can you help us? Ugh, why do they always ask us for help? 
and wallalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalal
how did... Oh, well, you see, Nadine, my ride took off, and now I'm stuck here with you. Uh, do you have a shuttle or something? Um, no. If we had, we would have escaped the monster on it. Right. Makes sense. We call for help, though. Should be a transport here in a few hours. Uh, that'll work. I'll just wait. Uh, what year is it anyway? Year? Are you injured? Did you hit your head? Look, just answer the question, okay, smart lady? It's 2818. But oh, and, and what dimension is it? Dimension? Yeah. A, B, C, double A, double D, double C, double... I don't know what you mean. Uh, no matter. <clears throat> I'm more l- 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 or less in the right time, at least. So I'll, I'll figure out everything later. The right time for what? Never mind. Uh, oh, is that an empty office over there? Uh, well, yes, it is. Great! But... I'm gonna be in there, so just let me know when the transport gets here, okay? Um, okay. Thanks. On Tim. What is this place? It appears to be a prison colony. Would you like to get out and look around, Master Oliver? No, I would not. How come, how come you keep taking me to places that trap me, Tim? It isn't me, sir. It's the randomizer. Oh, don't give me that, Tim. You know, you, you have to know how to control this. I have no idea what you're speaking of, sir. You trapped me for three years on your hold. Uh, pardon me, sir, uh, 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 but you were not trapped there for three years. The hell I wasn't. I kept a calendar. Yeah, you didn't see that coming, did you? No, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Marks on the wall of the tiny box you stuck me in. Well, sir, you were mostly in suspended animation. I only took you out briefly every once in a while to make make sure you were healthy and okay. Okay? 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 I wasn't okay, Tim. I was trapped in a box. Yes, sir. I I see that now. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. If it's been more than three years, Tim, how long has it been? Hmm. 41,432 years, six months, two days, seven... What? What? 40,000 years? Uh, yes, 41,432 years, six months, two days, seven ah! hours, four minutes, and 36 seconds. I will 37. destroy you! Tim, I, I will have my revenge just as soon as I figure out how to work these effing controls. Good luck with that. Ezra dead. Liddy gone. <clears throat> Tim occupied by a madman. How will it all end? Come back next time for our season finale and more Travels with Tim! It's all been done. Radio Hour number 12. Travels with Tim number 428. Awake. This episode was written by Jerome Witzel and directed by Samantha Stark. It starred Nick Argenbright as Tim the Time Machine, Joe Morales as Ezra Ford, Kristen Green as Liddy Firest, Mark Tomsick as Oliver, Sam Clements as Bart, Samantha Stark as Katie, and Ashley Clements as Nadine. The episode was narrated by Darren Usler. Our Foley artist was J.T. Walker. Our technical director is Shane Stefanczyk. Our music director is Kristen Green. Theme songs are composed by Nathan Haley with lyrics by Jerome Wetzel. Check out our website at iabdpresents.com. We would like to thank both Circle 270 Media, which the podcast is part of, and Boxland, our host performance space, where you can catch us live every second Saturday of every single month. Get your tickets at iabdpresents.com. Don't forget to support us at patreon.com slash iabd. A mere $5 donation gets you access to past and upcoming raw audio of our monthly shows, as well as exclusive performances, bloopers, and short stories. Now have a great week or something along those lines. I don't know if I was supposed to say that something along those lines part, but it was written down, so I'm saying it. It's All Been Done presents Who's Got the Time?